Next up, we'll calculate the time of flight, or the time the dolphin re-enters the water. To solve this, we only need the equation for the vertical position. If the dolphin starts at time t equals 0 and a height y equals 0, its height is just given by y equals g times t squared on 2 plus the initial y velocity times t. When y drops back down to 0, the dolphin will be back at the water's surface. So all we need to do is plug in the height y equals 0 and solve for the time t. Don't forget that gravity is acting downwards, so g is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So we end up with the total time of flight, tf, is equal to 0.884 seconds to three significant figures. Up next, we're going to find how far the dolphin jumped, or xf. This only depends on the horizontal velocity and the time the dolphin spent in the air. Since the horizontal velocity is constant, we just need to multiply the horizontal velocity, vix, by the time spent in the air, tf. If we plug in our previous values, this comes out to 2.21 meters, 